This guy said the cop that was on George Floyd neck with his knee that didn't kill him. It was carbon monoxide from a from the patrol car. What the fuck? Check this out. So a defense pathology expert is ripped apart for saying carbon monoxide from patrol car could have contributed to George Floyd's death before admitting he doesn't even know if the engine was on. So this image right here didn't kill George, George Floyd. That, that didn't do it. But to go on a stand and lie like that is horrible. It's terrible. The knee didn't do it. How could this guy go on stand and just lie like that? I know the judge hearing this bullshit gotta be like, this shit is crazy. It has to be. This shit is nuts, man. Let's, let's watch this video. So in, this was uh, prepared by Dr. Baker, correct? Yes, that is... That is my understanding that he was the individual who um, certified this this case. So in terms of Dr. Baker's analysis of this case, how did the heart and, heart and drugs contribute to the cause of death? They were significant or other contrib they, they contributed to um, Mr. Floyd having um, a sudden cardiac arrest in my opinion. Mr. Floyd had a sudden cardiac arrhythmia or cardiac arrhythmia due to his atherosclerotic and hypertensive heart disease, or you can write that down multiple different ways. Um, during his restraint and subdued by the police or restrained by the police. Um, and then his significant contributory conditions would be since I've already put the heart disease in part one. He would have the toxicology, the fentanyl and methamphetamine. Um, there is exposure to a vehicle exhaust, so potentially carbon monoxide poisoning, or at least an effect from increased carbon monoxide in his bloodstream, and paraganglionoma, or the other natural disease process that he has. So. Um, all of those combined to so this guy is making a mockery of the court system you gotta be he making a, a, a ass out the court system out of the judicial system what the fuck copper monoxide oh my god this shit is nuts man agree with that don't you Absolutely agree with that, yes. You shouldn't cherry pick facts. No. You shouldn't try to confuse the jury. Correct. Now there's a reason I ask about that too. Because you spent quite a bit of time talking about carbon monoxide. You, you, you remember that discussion, don't you? I do indeed. Now, just going right to the punchline on carbon monoxide that you, you talked about at some length, you haven't seen any data or test results that showed Mr. Floyd had a single injury from carbon monoxide. Is that true? That is correct because it was never sent to I the laboratory for that whether, test. I asked you whether it was true, sir. Yes or it no? It is true. Uh, now, as you were talking about carbon monoxide, you were referring to the squad car that Mr. Floyd was near, weren't you? Yes. Uh, have you ever laid eyes? I don't mean pictures. Physically on the squad car that you were referring to? I have not. 
Do you know whether it has a single exhaust or a double exhaust? The information that I was provided, it has a double exhaust with twin exhaust pipes on each side, so it has four exhausts. Right. Now, did you know the make and the model of the car? It is a Ford Explorer Interceptor. Is it a hybrid? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, did you see any air monitoring data that actually would give you any information as to what amount of carbon monoxide, if any, would have been in Mr. Floyd's breathing zone? No, because it was not tested. It was a yes or no question. You haven't seen any, have you? I have not seen any data. And you didn't go yourself to try to do anything akin to air monitoring, uh, air sampling, to simulate what Mr. Floyd might have been exposed to in proximity of a similar vehicle. You didn't do that, did you? Uh, are you able to tell this jury <clears throat> whether or not Mr. Floyd, at the time that he was being subdued on May 25th, was being exposed to carbon monoxide above the limit or level that was set by the EPA of nine parts per million? No, no testing was done. Uh, for that matter, cutting even more to the chase, how do you know the car was even on? It is a question I specifically asked and then I made an observation of water dripping from what appears to be a tailpipe. What? This motherfucker. So if I ask you directly, uh, do you know if in fact the car was on or not? You didn't see any information or data from anybody who says I either turned the car on or I'm the one who turned it off. You didn't see either one, did you? Correct. This motherfucker is... By seeing something dripping from a tailpipe that the car had to have been on. It's not an assumption. It's an <laughs> evaluation. Oh my God, that shit is crazy, man. That shit is wow. That shit is wow, man. This motherfucker right here. What the fuck? Carbon monoxide from a... Boy, is your boy DM out of here, man. This shit is nuts right here.